We're here in Paris at the Palais de Tokyo. Uh, it's a big center for contemporary arts and uh, we're presenting an exhibition that Audemars Piguet has put together to celebrate the 40 years of the Royal Oak. A watch that changed the industry uh, forever in 1972. The idea was to commission artists. We have a combination of cultural installations, a sound installation, we have a video piece and we have uh, large photographies. It's also the biggest watch exhibition that has ever been done on the Royal Oak. We have about a hundred pieces. Some of these watches come from the museum, ranging from the very first uh, Royal Oak in 1972 to the very latest uh, models. Here we're in front of uh, what we call the fragments. These are like a piece of rock that has been exploded. They were created by Sébastien Niesson. He's a French artist based in New York. Sébastien also created uh, uh, a sound piece. He's made recordings of the sounds that he could find in the Vallée de Joux, so calibers, uh, cows in the fields, uh, uh, ice cracks, uh, you know, when the, the lake is freezing. This gives this very uh, uh, atmospheric uh, sound piece. Behind me is a video piece by Italian artist Coyola. He used Rodin as a, a way to express how the Royal Oak was a, a groundbreaker in 1972. It's interesting the parallel between the, the Royal Oak and, and the thinker. At the time it was really criticized and, and uh, uh, exactly like the Royal Oak was criticized when it came out in 1972. From their creation to now they've evolved from an iconoclast to an icon. Here we're in front of uh, a series of uh, photographies that have been done by Dan Holdsworth. He's a British photographer specialized in landscapes. We commissioned uh, Dan to capture basically the spirit of the Vallée de Joux in a very poetic way. One of the reasons why we did uh, this exhibition uh, in conjunction with artists is we didn't want to just attract watch uh, enthusiasts. We also wanted to attract new people and have other kind of audience in the exhibition. This machine at Guilloche. It's actually the, uh, one of the hearts of this exhibition. It's not a museum machine, it's a machine that we actually use to produce parts that is about 100 years old, but that we extracted from the production line to travel with the exhibition. We really conceive this exhibition as, a, as one, one single piece of art in a way, and uh, we show craftsmanship as well as, uh, as art and, uh, and historic pieces uh, all in one environment. Here we showcase the amazing variety of sizes and materials in which the Royal Oak has been made over the last 40 years. Being the guardian of such an icon is a great privilege, but it also comes with huge responsibilities of always keeping the product alive, reinventing, exploring new ways, but always remaining very true to the basic idea of the original concept.